So you'll be greeted by two options, favorites and general calculator. Now the general calculator can be used to use the Ford off engine to make a solution. However, you cannot save the profile. So to create a profile for your specific rifle, select the favorites tab. If you don't have any selected, you'll simply press the plus sign icon in the center of the screen. And again, you can select between BC calculator and Ford off. And in this case, we're using Ford off. Now here is your ad favorite screen. At the very top, you have a picture and you can either take a new photo, you can select a photo from your existing library, or you don't have to have a photo at all. Next is the title. Now of all these fields, the title is the one that has to be filled out in order for you to save. So we'll select the title and this can be the name of the rifle if you've got a funny name for it, or it could be the name of the cartridge, what have you. It just has to have a title. We'll name this one Jenny. Next is the rifle. Um, and again, this can be the same as the title. It doesn't have to be anything at all, but I like to put the cartridge that I'm shooting. In this case, it's a six Creedmoor. Like the others, the optics does not have to be filled out, but we'll put it in anyways, just so we're clear. And the most important one next is the bullet. Now we have bullets from Hornady and Berger and Sierra and a few other manufacturers with their popular long range bullets. And what you're doing when you select a bullet out of the Ford off library is you are pulling in 437 different points unique to that individual bullet that includes mass distribution properties, some inertia. It pulls in the radar derived CD versus Mach curve, which is the most accurate representation of how a bullet flies through the air. Uh, it also pulls in the aerodynamic moment and coefficient table as well. So that's what really separates it from using ballistic coefficient. This has two different tables and 437 unique points to that bullet where BC uses in a lot of cases, one individual number to represent how that bullet flies. So simply select that tab and it will bring up our full library. Now today we're using 108 grain ELD match factory ammo. So we'll select the 108 ELD match. The next tab down is set load info. Now in this tab, if you were hand loading, you have the option to put your specific load recipe in there up there at the top. To access that, simply toggle it on and off with the toggle in the right hand side of the screen. Below that, you have the ammunition temperature sensitivity. Now, propellant used in rifle cartridges reacts slightly differently depending on the ambient temperature. Some are worse than others. So what you can do to turn this on is select the toggle. And then you will select what propellant you are using and we've pre-populated a, a pretty good table um, where we have tested those propellants and we've given it a specific value. If you'd like, you can also do some testing at home to enter a unique value uh, if you'd like, but simply press the powders table and go through and select the popular powders uh, and, and pick which one you're using. We'll back out of that screen with the back arrow and we'll go to the next tab, which is the rifle info. Now, this is a lot of important information here uh, and some of which we'll go through and we'll change down the road, but uh, we'll get more into that as we zero the rifle. For now, we'll go with some given information that we know. The first is muzzle velocity. Now we're going to use this lab radar to receive our muzzle velocity when we shoot this at the range. But for now, we know it's going to be in the ballpark of about 2950 feet per second. Next is the zero range and zero angle. And this is one of the hallmarks of using the Ford off app is that we use something known as zero angle and it is different than zero range. Um, it's, it's going to increase the accuracy of the calculations throughout a wide variety of elevations and temperatures and no matter where you go in the world, your solutions will be accurate because you're using zero angle. Not true if you use simple zero range. So we're going to leave the zero range at 100 yards right now and we're going to move on to the next step which is the sight height. Now the sight height is the center of the bore axis to the center of the scope axis. And we want to be accurate with this to about a tenth of an inch so it's not imperative that you use a set of calipers, but we do want to be as accurate as we can. 
Uh, kind of an easy way to do it is where your top of your stock meets the center of your scope ring. So we'll measure that here. We come out to 2.080. So we'll go ahead and put that in. You can either use the slide rule to slide this back and forth, the plus sign, or you can simply select the numbers and type in exactly what you measured. Next is the barrel twist. Um, this one is equipped with a seven and a half inch twist. So we'll type in 7.5. The final tab is impact windage. Now when you zero your rifle, you can adjust the windage turret so that you are hitting dead center windage wise uh, when you zero the rifle. Another option is to use the impact windage. What you can do is if your group is to the left or to the right of where you're aiming because of the wind, you can not slip your turrets on your scope, not dial anything, but correct for it here, and that will make sure that Ford Off accounts for it and gives you an accurate shooting solution. The bore diameter will pre-populate based on what bullet you selected from the library. However, if your specific barrel has a different than standard bore dimension, you can input that here. And lastly is the axial form factor. Now the axial form factor will be adjusted later on in this video when we shoot it at range. Uh, what this allows you to do is take into account the different variables like propellant, muzzle device, bore quality, twist rate, uh, land and groove configurations, etc. All of those things have a very slight effect on the drag of the projectile. So you need to account for it if you want the most accurate extended range solutions. Um, so we'll dive into that a little bit later. At this point, the set rifle info is good to go and we can move on to the next step. So wrapping up the add favorite profile here, you have the input output options. Now, the standard default input output is the US standard. You can also select it and select the metric option. Uh, the units standard default is MOA, and that's true minute of angle. Um, and you can select between that, MRAD, and inches or centimeters. And in this case, this is a milliradian scope. Important to note is that these are now the universal favorite for this profile. And then if you save this profile and go out and come back in, it will always reflect what you select here. Now, as we get into using the actual calculator, there are some options in the HUD that will allow you to quickly select or move between MOA, mils, inches, etc. However, that does not change this profile. When you back out of it and you close the HUD and you come back in, it will always come back to this setting. So this is the permanent favorite setting. So to save your profile, simply select the save button in the upper right hand corner.